Hi, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to find perimeter using the distance formula. To find the perimeter, we're going to need to use the distance formula to find the lengths of each of the sides of the shape that we're trying to solve for. And here we have our shape, it's a triangle. So we're going to need to use the distance formula three separate times. So the distance formula is just like this. d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And to use it, all we have to do is plug in the coordinates that we already know. So I'm going to do side A first, which you can see is between these two points. So I'm going to plug in negative 2 for this x value, negative 2 minus the x value over here, which is 2, squared, plus my y value over here, which is negative 1, minus my y value over here, which is 3. And then we just solve. d sub a equals negative 2 minus 2, which is 4, squared, plus negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4, squared. So d sub a equals minus 4 squared, which is 16, plus minus 4 squared again, 16, which is the square root of 32, which I can then simplify by pulling out the square root of 16. So I get d sub a equals 4 root 2. And for the next two, it's a very similar process. So I'm going to do d sub b equals square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And then I just plug in my, form, my um, coordinates for b, which you can see I have a 2 minus my x value down here, which is 3. 2 minus 3 squared plus y2, which is 3, and my y1, which is negative 4. So 3 minus negative 4 squared. And then again, just simplify. d sub b equals 2 minus 3, which is negative 1, squared, plus 3 minus negative 4, which turns into 3 plus 4, 7, squared. d sub b equals negative 1 squared, which is 1. 7 squared is 49. And I have d sub b equals root 50, which I can then simplify by pulling out a square root of 25, which is 5 and I'm left with a root 2, so 5 root 2. And then third process is, again, very similar. d sub c equals x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And I'm plugging in for side c, which I have a minus 2 minus 3 squared. And over here for y, I've got a minus 1 and minus negative 4 squared. d sub c equals minus 2 minus 3, which is a minus 5 squared plus negative 1 minus negative 4, which would be plus 4, so 3 squared. d sub c equals negative 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9, d sub c equals 25 plus 9, which is 34. So now to use the perimeter, all I have to do is add up each of these three, and I got 5 root 2 plus 4 root 2 plus root 34, and I can simplify these to get 9 root 2 plus root 34. So there it is. Again, I'm Drew Moyer, and this is how to find perimeter using the distance formula.